Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Second Quest. Hey, we are awesome, are we not? Indeed. We are on our way to get to the treasure of dungeon number two. Which we do so by way of annoyance. That's right, viewers, we will annoy the dungeon into giving us the treasure, which is so rightfully ours. But first we will slay mummies with our laser sword. It is what we do. Hero of Hyrule, blah blah blah. Slaying mummies with our laser sword. Four bombs! <clears throat> Four bombs, as in the number four. The amount of bombs we collected was four. But we could only hold eight, so we left four behind. Ow! Get the key! Go forward! Hooray for more mummies! Oh boy! Why did we not go this way before? Well, because going this way is basically... The only reason you would ever want to go this way is to get the treasure. We cannot... You know, there's like no shortcut back from getting it. It's not on the way at all. So I have to come back and do a little bit of the dungeon over. At least I get to come back and do a little bit of the dungeon over with an extra heart. Which is nice for this guy. But we don't have to fight him. Dark nuts, run! I'm surprised that guy didn't hit me. Key would be handy. Oh, jerk bat. Bat jerk. This is one of those invisible walls. Are you supposed to figure that out? No freaking idea. Kill you, kill you, kill you, and kill you. And we get the whistle much, 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 much earlier than we did in the previous quest. Um, continue up all the way if you want to get the map, if you want to get out. This is the shortest way out, but as you see, it's not really that much of a shortcut. It's still out of your way. Second quest seems to like to do that to you. Some money. Money is nice. Ooh, that guy almost touched me. But it ended poorly. Yeah, pardon me just a moment. Sorry. Um, so while we're here at the map, if you uh, look at uh, what would be the very tippy, tippy top of the A, the middle row, there's one room above that center one. That's where the map is. fight you, so I'm not going to. I do have to fight you. I still don't have the white sword, but I should have enough hearts to get it if I can find it. it, it. More mummies! I don't care if they're called the Gibdo. I don't care what any of the enemies are called. This is clearly a mummy. Therefore, I shall call it a mummy. If it looks like a mummy, if it walks like a mummy, if it talks like a mummy, 
it is most likely a mummy. So you people are like, it's not a mummy, it's a Gipto. Shut the hell up. I don't care what you have to say. Oh, come on, I stunned you. Alright, fine. Can I afford anything? Not here, I can't. Well, now that we have the whistle, there's actually quite a few things we can do before we move on to the next dungeon. Die. Hey, fairy. Okay, you die. All right. Let me consult on the map. It is dark, so it is very hard to see. Light sword is in the same place. How about that? Uh, where do I get that? Way up there. It's still 250 rupees. So, let's go grab our white sword. And along the way some rupees. That was close. Gimme, thank you. Now, let's see here. I definitely want to get the blue ring early in this playthrough. Stab you and you. So I'm going to be conserving the rupees till that time comes. I believe not this screen, but the next one up. I'll drop save just in case. Not like anything bad's gonna happen. Right there. Yoink. Only 30, but it's 30 more than we had. Let's see. Candle for that one. Don't have the candle yet. I probably walked by a couple on the way here. I do apologize for uh, not having my route pre-planned, but that's not how I roll, viewers. You should know that by now. I3. Candle. I five candle. That's this one. L three. Eh, it's only ten, but it's ten. I may just hit the money making game and save state my way through it to save me some time. Oh come on! I didn't see that guy there. That's cheating. Ow! So is that. Anyway, white sword. But first, we will go and grab these 10 rupees, because it's just like a rat over here. Red guys come out of the ground, and I stab them. I think it is this screen. Nope. If the whirlwindy thingy appears, it is not the screen. This is not the screen you're looking for, viewers. Let's try this one. Yep. How the hell you're supposed to figure this stuff out without trial and error? I have no idea. Of course, a lot of it back in those days was, you know, Nintendo Power helped out a ton. And you had this whole, you know, one guy would do it and then he would tell somebody and they would tell somebody. You know, they'd tell two friends and they'd tell two friends and they'd tell two friends. And eventually, by some weird, like, pre-internet day communication system, um, it would get back to you. And you would know. Like, I don't know anybody that beat the first Metroid game, but everybody I knew who had played it knew that Samus was not a man. 
But no one had ever beat the game. But we all knew that. We couldn't prove it. It was like a rumor. Back in those days, you know. You know what I'm saying, viewers? I hate you, horsey man. Oh, do not face me. You're gonna shoot me in the back. I will have it then, old man. Alright, let's see. Where's the next nearest gem location? Rupee location. Oh, seven. I can get that one with the whistle. I don't need anything special for that one. It's one in 05. That's only 20 rupees, though. In 4. I think that's the same as the last one. So, since we're fairly near those couple, and we are also fairly near the shop for the white ring, We'll go ahead and take care of that. I don't believe... I think I'm going to have to go around. I don't think I can glitch this out. Nope. Oop. Yeah, she'll give you advice. I usually don't take it because I don't care. How'd you like that little speed up? Did you like that? I worked really hard on it. All, all my spring break was spent on that speed up. Of course, it's like August, so. I may not be telling you the truth. Heaven forbid. Can I have hearts, please? That is not hearts. I hate about these two enemies showing up together is that while you're watching for one, the other one comes out and murders you. I like that. Now last time this rock contained a um, oh medicine of life or heart container. I do not believe it contains any such nonsense here. But there's a dungeon very nearby. Actually, the next dungeon is very nearby. But we're not going to hit that up yet. No, sir. <laughs> we'll just continue on our way. This one was always the first secret to everybody rupee room basic thing. Basically, it's a rupee room that I would ever find because it's the only one I knew to like, look for. And it is thankfully the same. But I think we only get 10. No, oh, we get 30. Okay, now if we go down and then to the right. Whoa, sneaking up on me, are you, buddy? Give me that. One of these guys also has rupees according to the map. Ow. Jerk. Ow. Stop it. Not that one. Wish you guys would drop hearts or something. Make it worth me killing you. Grab. Okay. I can get another 10 just over this way. It's kind of on the way. Well, it's not really on the way at all. Especially if I'm not going to walk the right direction, that's not in the... Oops. Oopsie, not that way. That is the wrong way. This way. I 
kind of like this room. Like rooms that give you Moblins and Octorox at the same time, I think are just kind of fun. I don't know why. I just like them. In here... Yeah. I want that shield soon. But... Not yet. Ow. Jerk. Uh, is it this one? Oh... Seven. Oh. Went right past it. Was expecting it to be on the beach. Shows how smart I am, viewers. Yoink. Only 27 more to go. And I can possibly get that just walking up there. Well, possibly not. That's how you're going to be game. Yeah, well, that's a little better. You saw the heart piece on the little thing, I'm sure. Just another 20. Probably not going to get it. I appreciate the bomb drops, but I need money. I appreciate the two fairies back to back, but I need money. Three hearts in a row. Getting all these bombs, all these fairies, hearts all over the place. I want money. Money? Damn you. Come on, man. Just 15 more rupees. That's all I ask. Jerk spider. That's not really a spider. Doesn't have enough legs. But it's still a jerk spider. What's in here? Money making game? Alright. Let's cheat this sucker. That didn't take too long. Now, I believe we have to kill everything. Which, in this room, is annoying because I hate these damn things. Ow. Give me that heart. Yeah, I think we do. Oh, come on. Get away, get away, get away. Come on, spinny man. With your spinny plans. Stop moving. Oh, guess I don't have to kill him. It's just a pain in the ass to try and find. And I'm going to need that bait, so I might as well make some money while I'm here and get the bait. So, I'll see you when I've made some money. Grab. And we get out of here. And I have enough to buy my shield. Let's go up here. Let's see what's in here now. Hey. Oh. I can find the shield somewhere for 130, I know I can. Then we should be set on buying things, at least till the time for arrows has arrived. So... Yeah, that's not smart. The game has been incredibly generous with explosives. Grab that. And we go back. I 
I don't think I will do the dungeon now, but I will get to the dungeon. I'll have a dungeonless video. Well, you know, this one's fairly short. I'll get it in. Is it this screen? I believe it is. Let's get away from the edge. Let me check, let me check. Level 3, M4. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Wrong area completely. It's where level 2 was in the first quest. But what's this? There's nothing here. Now there is. We will save and enter. Level 2. Super easy. Why is it super easy? Because I saved my keys. I hate you. Goyim, whatever the hell your name is. Save, because I don't want to have to do this like four times. We'll get in, we'll get the Triforce, we'll get out. We'll come back and get the treasure next time. Yoo-hoo! Exploding that times, please. Yeah, and you gotta find another key to get out of here. And then you're like, what the hell is this crap? Gotta kill off all the wall masters. The masters of the wall universe. Okay, got them all. Shove. This is the shortest dungeon in history. You don't even need the treasure here. The treasure in this dungeon, spoiler alert, is the magical boomerang. You don't even need it. Ooh, gimme. We'll take that key. <clears throat> and try horse. You know what? Let's just grab it. So this is a short, short dungeon. Okay, up. Hey, bombs. I actually need them. I will take them this time. It's not like I've had eight and picked up another thirty. It's like I had two. Okay, take a look at the map. Six, six rooms. One being the entrance, one being the Triforce room. Six rooms. That's it. Oh, well, we got the super snakes. Uh -huh. Got anything for me? Bombs. <clears throat> and in here. Yep. There's our map. Aww. Hey, somehow I managed to get that boomerang to pass through me. Kinda glad I bought the shield. Anyway, I'm moving right along. Stalfus. More laser Stalfus. This shield should block the swords, but I'd rather not find out. And we picked up a key. And... Hey, I didn't know I needed this. Honestly, did not know. There you go. Hopefully, I won't need any more. Okay, here's your treasure room, viewers. Clock. 
Bam, there you go. Dungeon finished. And now, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. Stay tuned next time for another episode. Oh my god. Carry on. I'm playing a game. Oh.